I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. How many times do I need to forgive my neighbor? That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. Higher Things is a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. If you love what we're doing, then like those videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get all, get our app. It's in all the major platforms and donate. A tax-deductible gift keeps the gospel in the ears of our church's youth, and those kids need this gospel today. It's good to be back from the COVID, um, which gives us a chance to take a look at the, tr the three-year lectionary series from Sunday. Um, Peter came at, to him and said to him, Lord, how many times will my neighbors sin against, my brother sin against me, and I will forgive them? Seven times, as many as seven times. And Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but 70 times seven. And here ends our text. What kind of God do you have? And how has God treated you? Is he slow to anger and is he bounding in steadfast love? Has he put your sins as far from you as east is to west? Is there ever a cap on the amount of sins that he forgives of you? The answer is, of course, there's no cap. He does put my sins from east to west. He is merciful. You have been forgiven an amount of sins that you couldn't possibly ever pay back. It might as well be 10,000 talents, which is just an absurd amount in the ancient world. An absurd amount. And since you've been forgiven an absurd amount, um, when you leave having been forgiven, and you run up to somebody who owes you considerably less, say 100 denarius, with denarii, which is um, about 100 days worth of work, you were forgiven an unimaginable amount of debt. And then you see somebody who owes you 100 days work. What are you going to do? You grab them by the throat. You throw them in jail. When they beg for mercy, do you say, no, 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 I need my money now? If that's what you do, what is the person who forgave you the insurmountable 10,000 talent debt do? Well, let's see. The master summoned him and said to him, you wicked servant, I forgave your debt because you pleaded with me. And should not you have had mercy on your fellow servant as I had had mercy on you? And in his anger, and in anger, his master delivered him to the jailers until he should pay the debt. So also will my Father in heaven do to every one of you if you do not forgive your neighbor from your heart. The answer is forgiveness. Achieved by Jesus on the cross and delivered to you in word, water, and in his body and blood. The answer is the mercy of God. Uh, that God sent his son. The answer is the spirit who enlivens you to love others as you have been loved and to forgive as you've been forgiven. The question is, what kind of God do you have? Calvary and Easter, then you truly will forgive those who sin against you. Some other God? Well then, how do you want God to be for you on the last day? Do you want him to forgive even the sins that you don't know about? Even the sins that you don't know to be sorry for? Then you'll forgive others even those sins that they don't know to be sorry about either. Well, are we just going to let people walk over us? Or are you going to let them um, crucify us? No, he was crucified for your sins, but he was raised for your justification. So the answer to this question is, how many sins are we going to forgive as many of people sin against us? Are we going to withhold forgiveness from anyone? No, not, the, not when we can. Because God in Christ had mercy on us and God forgave us of a debt that could not... What about sins that are awful? What about sins that are in, unimaginable? Well, he has had mercy on your unimaginable sins. How much more are you going to show others? Think about it. Think about it. And if you have some questions, put it in the description. Put it in the, put it in the comments. And I'll answer them as best I can. Or a really good video might be what those questions would be. Have a blessed day. Thanks for your prayers. Remember... Forgiveness for your sins means forgiveness for other people's sins as well. I'm Pastor George Barkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.